Hello. In this video, I plan to do a rundown of the Ludlow Measurements Model 3. Just like my previous video of the Model 2, it is very similar, but has a few extras that a Model 2 usually does not have. So let's set the Model 2 aside. <clears throat> the Ludlum Model 3 is essentially a souped-up Ludlum Model 2. It usually incorporates a multi-use scale with usually a higher range and a few dose ranges. Now this isn't always the case. Some of them include just a count per minute scale or just a dose scale. The Model 3s also incorporate an extra range. Most Model 2s will only go to times 10. Most Model 3s will go to times 100. In this case, everything is essentially the same as a Model 2. You have an external connector, in this case, B and C. An external speaker, your range settings, a, a reset button, an audio on off, and a fast and slow. And just like the Model 2, it functions just about the same. A bat test and range functions. In this case, I have a hot dog probe or a pickle probe with a beta shield that can be opened or closed. In this case, the beta shield is open to enable the, well, to enable counting faster, but it can be used for dosage if the beta window is closed. Let's give her a test. Seems to operate just fine. Audio off, and a quarter Michael Curie cesium iodide source. We almost peg the needle at five kilocounts per minute. This needle scare scale is a little weird to read, but your lower scale is for your highest range in dosage. The middle, everything other than times 100, and then all scales work on the count per minute. They're pretty versatile meters with a voltage supply that will go up about a thousand volts more than the Model 2. So in this case, about 300 volts to 2500 volts. This facilitates the use of proportional type detectors. It also works very well with an alpha scintillator. As such, making them very versatile meters to use, operate, and Ludlum still currently manufactures them. They're very common find for first responders, hospitals, industry, and alike. Although, because they're still operating, they can be a little pricey at times. But, it's a nice meter if you can score one for cheap.